So last year, I was in my parents' attic, and I found the first video game system I ever owned, the Jorbis. I don't know if you guys remember the Jorbis. It predated uh, Atari, Nintendo, Sega. It was made by the now out-of-business department store Montgomery Ward. Let me show you guys, and you can see if you remember the old Jorbis. There you go. And uh, ever since I found it, I've been playing my Jorbis nonstop, and a lot of the games were really ahead of their time. Let's take a look at some of them now in a segment we call Old Video Games. All right, first, first up, we have the, the Jor This Jorbis game was inspired by the popular game Frogger. It was called Frauder. I don't know if you guys remember Frauder. In Frauder, you uh, play a man who is in debt, and your goal is to try and get hit by a car so you can sue the driver. Level one, uh, fairly easy. All you did was uh, sort of run onto the road and try to get hit by a car. Uh, there you go. Uh, that would be how you'd win level one. Level two, a little harder because now you're on crutches, a little harder to get around, and, uh, and also the drivers have heard about you, so they know you're coming and, and they avoid hitting you now because the word's out. You know, there, it's a little trickier now. Now there's, there's no reward to just hitting them. There you go. And then, of course, the goal would be, uh, there, yeah, you get it. You're paralyzed for life. It was, uh, it was so much fun. Do you guys uh, remember these Lisa Frank school supplies? There you go. Uh, these are very popular in the 80s and 90s, and obviously based on their reaction today. Here, uh, here are the binders. So this game uh, was inspired by the Lisa Frank uh, binders. They were called Lisa Frank World. In this game, uh, you play an eight-year-old boy who thinks Lisa Frank sucks, and you get warped into the world of your sister's trapper keeper. Uh, so in this game, you uh, navigate the super colorful world and you fight off the cute animals who are trying to cuddle with you. I love you. Do you want to be my friend? Ouchie! Can we cuddle? Ow! Ow! And then in the last level, you meet a large rainbow unicorn who wants to be your BFF. But unlike the other animals, the unicorn fights back. And that, uh, you never saw, you didn't, wait, well, you, you didn't see it coming. <laughs> oh, this was a thing people in the 90s liked. They made a game out of. It's called Al Cowling's Racing. Um, yeah, so you play Al Cowling's, and you're driving O.J. Simpson around in the back of his Ford Bronco. So it was like a racing game, uh, but you couldn't go faster than 10 miles per hour. You get it. Oh, you get it. Hey, this Jorbis game came out in the mid-'80s. It was inspired by the Cold War, which was a thing that was happening then, and kids, it was all the kids could talk about. Um, <laughs> and it was called Berlin Wall Beach Volleyball. <laughs> so in this game, you play on the side of democracy as you face off against the communists on the other side of the Berlin Wall. So you would pick your players. You would, you know, maybe be Reagan and Thatcher, and you'd, you'd play against, you know, maybe communist leaders like Gorbachev and uh, Deng Xiaoping, and, uh, and this would be the game. And then, you know, you'd volley it back and forth, and then you'd try to unlock Reagan's special move, the Gipper Spike. And then Nancy would show up, and you guys would just make out. It was a really fun game. Moving this last Jorbis game is really hard to find. It was inspired by the Tom Hanks movie Forrest Gump. It's called Forrest Gump the Game. Uh, now, of course, in the movie Forrest Gump, uh, Forrest experiences various defining moments in American history. In this game, uh, Forrest would be in classic moments in video game history. So, you know, you'd find out that Forrest was actually standing right behind Mario when he crushed the first Goomba. My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. And then he was, uh, he was actually the guy who dropped all those pellets on the ground that Pac-Man ate. Excuse me. My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. Uh, and in Legend of Zelda, Link didn't dress in his trademark outfit until he saw Forrest Gump dressed that way. Bubba Gump. And this was the coolest. You find out he was the first person to ever do a Mortal Kombat fatality. Life was like a box of chocolate. Give it up for the drivers, everyone!